Hi, and welcome back to Wandering Wild. Today is Wild Wednesday, and we're going to talk all about the ring-tailed lemur. Okay, so the ring-tailed lemur has the scientific name lemur cata, and it's one of the largest and most easily recognizable lemur species with that gray, black, and white plumage, as well as that beautiful ringed tail. Now, Lemurs are found where all lemurs are found, and the only place they're found, and that would be the island of Madagascar off the coast of Africa. Now, something interesting about ring-tailed lemurs is that they're actually terrestrial, so most lemur species are arboreal, living mostly in the treetops. However, the ring-tailed lemur is the most terrestrial or ground-dwelling of all the lemur species, living in gallery forests and then shrubland in the southern part of Madagascar. Now, why are they called lemurs? Well, that's actually due to some of their weird vocalizations. When lemurs communicate, even just talking to one another, it's loud and haunting, and it can be heard for miles through the forest of Madagascar. And when scientists first heard this, they called them lemurs, which refers to the Latin word for ghosts, and the lemures festival that the ancient Romans had where they exercised all the ghosts from a village because at night when the lemurs were communicating people thought that the forest was filled with ghosts. So that's where the term lemur comes from. Now lemurs are omnivores but they eat mostly fruits and leaves that come from the trees that they live near and in. Now lemurs live in very large social groups called troops and ring-tailed lemurs, like all lemur species, have a matriarchal society, which means that the females are in charge. Now, there's actually two hierarchy systems within ring-tailed lemurs. Both the females and the males have separate hierarchies within that troop. So, there are times when the males are ruled independently from the females, but altogether, when it comes down to it, the woman is in charge. Now, lemurs are found in zoos worldwide and really breed readily in captivity, so you would think that they're probably safe from extinction, correct? Well, actually, the ring-tailed lemur is considered endangered by the IUCN Red List, which is a list that really classifies most in species as threatened, endangered, or perfectly fine, no problem, maybe too many of them. And it's really what we use as kind of a guideline for how a species is doing. So the ring-tailed lemur is considered endangered, and this is mostly due to habitat loss on the island of Madagascar, as well as some hunting, and most definitely the pet trade, which, because the lemur is endangered, is completely illegal. Now, like I said, the ring-tailed lemur is relatively large, weighing about 5 pounds and being about 18 inches long with a 22-inch long tail. Now, lemurs do something very interesting, and they're very focused on scent marking. Now, this can be done in some very interesting ways. They have some scent glands that they use to mark their territory, as well as their tails. So often lemurs will mark their tails completely, saturate them with their scent, and then wave those tails like a little flag in all the other lemurs' faces so that they kind of get the message. Cute, right? It's not cute. Now, speaking about the ring-tailed lemur's tail, those rings on it are actually quite unique in that every single individual lemur has a unique ring pattern on their tail that's just as unique as you or my fingerprint. And so that's a great way that scientists can use to identify individual ring-tailed lemurs when they study them. Now, ring-tailed lemurs can live to be about 10 to 16 years old in the wild. However, the oldest known living ring-tailed lemur was 27 years old. Now, we see lemurs in all sorts of popular culture, from Zabumafu with the Krat Brothers, if you remember that nice kids show, from King Julian in Madagascar, who really should be Queen Julian if we think about it, because like I said, women rule the roost for the lemurs. 
and just other ways that we love to see our ring-tailed lemur friends. They're quite striking and beautiful and we really recognize them more than other lemur species. However, there are a ton more lemur species and some of them are very endangered because lemurs are only found on this one island. And as we've talked about before, by, by having populations on only one island, you really limit your ability to cope with storms or disease or anything of the like. So if you're interested in learning more about lemurs, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a couple more videos on a couple more different species. Or I can do just a video on lemurs in general. As always, my sources are found in the description box below and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. And as always, stay wild and never stop wondering.